What's up, guys? It is Jack and Jeff from AchievementHunter.com. And Jeff, today we are doing five facts in Fallout New Vegas. Okay, let's do it. This was the follow-up to Fallout 3, and it takes place in, well, I guess, Nevada and the Vegas area. Uh, some, yeah. Some sort of is that fact number one? Fantasy Vegas area. No, that's just, this is the banter we do before we get into the facts. I would not call this we've, banter. We've done a few of these before. <laughs> all right, well, <laughs> let me, you know? give me a fucking fact. All right, you, 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 want, you just want to jump right into it? Yeah. Did dude, you play this game at all? I played New Vegas for about 15 hours, 20 hours. Oh, yeah? So I scratched the surface yeah, of so it. Yeah, so you touched you maybe made it to Novak or something like that, yeah. and that was about it. All right, let's get into it. How about fact number one? The game borrows many story elements from the canceled Van Buren project from Black Isle Studios. Yes. The game that was originally intended to be Fallout 3. An example of one of the borrowed elements is the presence of the Hoover Dam. Okay. And you don't see the Hoover Dam till damn near the end of the game, or close to the end of the game, I, I guess, depending on how you approach it. You remember that movie where Matthew Perry fell in love with Salma Hayek? Uh, and, uh, the Wedding Planner. The Wedding, is that what it's called? I think called? that's what it's called. It ended on the Hoover Dam, I or believe. Or is, is that the Matthew McConaughey one? Ma Matthew McConaughey is the Wedding Planner. Okay. This the, one is, uh... I know, I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah, and he's like a goofy white guy who's uh, vaguely racist. Uh, 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 leaving Las Vegas? No. No. <laughs> no, that was the movie that's, about anal sex. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's a family story movie. Yeah. You gotta watch that. Go, go ahead and rent Leaving, uh, leaving Las Vegas and then Vegas Vacation. Yeah, It's a good go. one, too. It's if you're going to have a Vegas <laughs> night at your house. All right, number two. Speaking of, speaking of Matthew Perry, uh, friend star Matthew Perry was asked to provide the voice for Benny after he was seen on the Ellen DeGeneres show, as well as a few others, expressing his love for Fallout 3. So Are you, you serious? Go. Yeah. Now, that's a hell of a segue. Yeah, there you go. We, that was completely by accident. Jesus just, Christ. Trust me, Jeff does not read these things before he gets the started. Only, so he had, the, no, that was, yeah, no, the, he had no idea that was coming up. Hoover Dam was the thing I was thinking of. Though. Oh, there you go. But yeah, that's that's, weird. So yeah, Matthew Perry plays Benny in the game. And uh, yeah, I remember seeing the clip of him talking about Fallout 3. Like, I think he said he was like sitting in his trailer playing Fallout or something, and he really got into it. It, what so. a nerd. That's pretty cool. All right, the town of Novak gets its name from a partially burnt out no vacancy sign found in the town. Bonus fact, according to the new Vegas director, J.E. Sawyer, Novak was the first area in the game that the development team worked on. So there you go. And uh, I'm surprised that's a fact because it's pretty easy to see if you see the no vacancy sign. All right, number four. In December of 2011, J.E. Sawyer released his own mod for the PC version of Fallout New Vegas. This mod contained all the ideas that Sawyer wanted to include in the game that were either removed or not added before the game was released. Huh. That's kind of cool that, that the, cool. the developer would go through and just kind of fill out, like flush out his own game. Yeah. And do it for free. You know, we're so used to seeing DLC try to fill up a game, but that's or cool. Dilk, as it's pronounced. Dilk. All right, and last but not least, Fallout New Vegas holds the Guinness World Record for most lines of dialogue recorded in a single-player action RPG with approximately 65,000 lines of dialogue. That's a Holy lot, dude. Holy crap. That's, that's insane. We'll probably see that get passed pretty soon, though, right? I have to imagine next-gen systems will uh, have something. Yeah, well, I mean, they they, they, they uh, stipulated that it was single-player, right? Yeah, single-player. Yeah, I think Old Republic blew that. Yeah, I think Old Republic. Like 110,000 or something. Yeah, something ridiculous. But anyway, Fallout New Vegas, um, some people say it's not as good as Fallout 3. I really didn't finish Fallout 3, but I finished New Vegas. I thought I they were both totally awesome. So, yeah. yeah, I enjoyed it. And I, I like the um, the alien, or what is it, the alien zombie things that take off. I made a, a guide for that forever ago. Oh, they, yeah. They get in the rocket and fly away. Way, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man. Well, uh, check out this game if you uh, if you want to. We're gonna go and enjoy the rest of uh, our vacation.